Peggy 3. And now, the end is near. The final video blog for Football Manager 2013 is upon us. If you've made it this far, you've watched a very long feature-length film's worth of information about FM13, so well done and thank you. Now all that's left for you is to get to play it. But before that, I thought we'd just go through a final few of the new features and give you some details of licenses we have for the game. Let's look at some of the new features first. These are all a bit random, so I'm just going to fire them out there. Facilities. Youth teams can now have their own stadiums and training grounds. With new gens, new gen names are now linked to specific regions across the world, not just countries. And with status icons, player status icon colours have been changed to make it clear what each icon is referring to. Fans now react to players more realistically, so you won't get criticised if you don't play a 17-year-old hot prospect. You also won't get criticised as badly if you put out a weakened team in a cup competition that isn't that important and get knocked out. In team talks, there are more situation-specific team talks, such as encouraging the players to win by saying they can move into the top spot in the league. Your assistant will no longer carry out generic team talks when more advanced options are available. And on the social networking side of things, we've added a button that allows your users to post screens to their Facebook wall. And to end this series of videos, here are the licenses we have in Football Manager 2013 this year. I hope you enjoy the game and the new modes as much as we've enjoyed making them.